Hello everyone, this is uh, Eli at the Samus Education Center and this is Media Digital Signage in action right here. This is a display I've got in my office just to kind of uh, to be able to maintain the software so I uh, wanted to show a quick tutorial or a demo of the system and exactly what it does. Um, to go through the sign real quick here we've got up at the top there are two RSS media feeds both are health uh, to the left is uh, Fox News and well let's see here to the left is NBC nightly so I take that back it's not health uh, but to the right is Fox News and it is all health from Fox News uh, down below that we've got a video feed from our uh, let's see here that's West boardroom and below that an RSS feed from KFOR uh, to the bottom left is two Twitter feeds uh, one through OU Medicine the other through Samus Education Center doesn't look real clean but it's it's working um, and above that is a weather app which will kind of go into detail some and the time so um, everything I did in the sign I did myself and that's why it's not it's kind of blocky the design isn't really good we had a graphics designer provide the background then I put everything on top of that so that's how we ended up with what we've got so I uh, apologize, the office is a little messy today, but and my hand was shaky enough, I had to get some sort of tripod, so that's my tripod right there. Uh, but we'll go ahead and look at Media Digital Signage, their website, real quick. Yeah, let's see if I can get that positioned well enough. Trust me, you don't want me to hold on to it, it's shaky. <laughs> Too much coffee, that's what I'll do it to you. Um, let's go to their homepage, real quick. So this is mediasignage.com. And if you click on Run Everywhere, this will show all the different platforms it runs off of. It's got Smart TV. It'll play on its own box, which is Media Box. Um, it'll also play off of any computer with a Windows, Apple, or Linux operating system. The Linux is something that seems to be fairly hard to find. I like it because it leaves it open source for any platform. Um, also, iPad, iPhone, or Android. I believe the way they get those last bit is through an HTML player, but I've never actually tried that part of it yet. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, the other part uh, that's really cool is their video tutorials. Pretty much anything you want to learn about the software is included here um, within their video tutorials. It's got everything from the beginning stuff, so you could start here with their basic video intro to more advanced functions uh, such as let's see here video setup uh, some of the capture card stuff like I'm doing here um, got advertising and studio components which would be like weather uh, Twitter feeds or Facebook feeds so let's just go ahead and click on a weather component and uh, see that launch so that's pretty quick easy and smooth I feel like it's easy for anyone to understand um, and uh, there again, the cool part about it is the video, and he goes into a seven and a half minute tutorial just on how to do the weather component, which was that upper left piece we saw there on my signage there. So, makes it easy for everyone to use. Um, and they do also have a forum here. So, any question that's not answered within the video tutorial um, can be answered if you look in the forum. And typically, you just some, uh, type something into the search bar, say um, a tuner card, and it will return a list of uh, search results that have something to do with the tuner card, and you can just click on it. Well, wrong area. Yeah, there it is. Boom. And that's an article on their tuner cards. Um, anything that you can't get answered through the video tutorial or the forum they also have uh, online help if you go back to their homepage uh, via chat so you can chat with someone and I'm gonna put in uh, just testing your video or your video your chat response <laughs> what am I doing yes. there we go Add response. Okay. And start chat. And we'll see how quickly we get a response from them. Last time it, I shot this video, or the first video I shot, I did away with because my hand was so shaky, but um, they responded pretty quickly. And I've had chats with them before with it's just, just a matter of seconds. So um, 
gets put in the queue and typically there's someone always at a computer that can uh, uh, respond to me. So while we're waiting on them, I'll go ahead and look at uh, the signage application, which is over on my other monitor here. And this is all web-based, so anything you want to do or design is done through a web browser. I'm running Firefox right now on a uh, Mac computer. Um, first part of it is the screens, uh, screen layout. I won't go into a whole lot of detail, but this is, uh, this is my screen setup, so you can see if it'll focus here. Uh, the time, date, weather, uh, the Twitter feeds, the RSS ticker, the news, and our camera feeds. Um, those are all different windows that you size through the software and you place it with, if you look there in the upper left hand corner, that is our background, which is the very back. Um, then to kind of show off how customizable some of that can be, we'll click on Scene Editor here. So give me just a second. Actually, let me move this camera over here. just for a second. Click on that and we will go down to weather 04. And this is the weather component that is running there on my sign in the left uh, side there. And you see the temperature and the, uh, the different uh, kind of animated icons down here at the bottom and then the high and low for the days and, and what day of the week it is. All that stuff is all customizable and that is right here. I can change the size, the font, the color, and where it's located within that window that you first saw on the first screen. So those are all the individual pieces that can be customized within it. So pretty cool piece there. Um, never fails. Seems like you shoot a video or something and then you don't get the good chat support. But I uh, swear he, they do respond fairly quickly. So we'll go and look kind of at some of the hardware piece and see if they've responded yet. So back here is uh, our signage players for the Ed Center. Uh, they're located within a rack. Um, our camera feeds, the part that is showing right here, um, which is the uh, west boardroom, are brought into the AV system, then they're split and amplified, and we eventually bring it into uh, this one right here. Our, our middle signage computer is what's running this particular application. I've got three computers for each level, and any computer can go to any sign within the Education Center. There's 11 public display signs altogether that we run. So, If we look around the back of it, this is the tuner card that's doing our capturing. And right now the way I've got it hooked up is uh, via component. We've got a component feed that goes into the system. It'll also take composite, um, let's see here, analog audio. Uh, two different sources of analog audio and S-video. Oh, and it's also got HDMI. So if you have an HDMI source and want to plug it into Signage Player and feed it, you can do that. So that's kind of the backside of my setup. And let's go around here to see if they responded to our chat. Yeah, there he is. OK. So let me reposition uh, this box here, my makeshift tripod. Don't fall over. <laughs> um, okay. And I'll chat with him real quick. All right, I just put, we're looking for a digital science solution for our campus and want to test the support responsiveness. So, we'll see if, how quickly he responds. <coughs> and we haven't done any custom uh, designing really with this company. The, the reason that really I went to it at first is because I got into Bind whenever we first got in our opening. Uh, Nexus uh, was a little bit too difficult to use and couldn't do everything I wanted to. And so I started looking for a free uh, signage solution just to get me um, up and running for the opening. Found this, designed this app within a couple of days, and, it, and it, uh, it's working pretty well for us. So there he's responding back to us. Um, that's the support guy, and I'll kind of continue the chat from there. So 
anyways, I just wanted to show you guys and uh, appreciate your time. It's definitely worth looking into if you get a second. Uh, feel free to email me or uh, call if you have any questions. So, thanks, guys. We'll talk to you later. Bye.